hello friends welcome to my youtube channel techsol and in this tutorial i am gonna show you how to root and unroot lineage os 14.1.1 with android 7.1.1 rom on your any device so if you have not installed lineage os 14.1.1 rom then you can check out my videos on how to install lineage os 14.1.1 means android 7.1.1 rom on your device so check it out I have also given link in my description below check it out the popular Synogen mode ROM was already rooted but in case of its successor it is not rooted you have to root it so let's check it go to settings and go to developer settings if you have not developer settings then go to about phone and tap build number for seven times and you will see that developer option will come in your settings so, so then go to developer options and then go to root access and check here you will see only disable and adb only means you have not root access for apps only or apps and adb so you have to root it now if you don't believe me then just install root checker from play store yeah root checker just search in play store and you will find that root checker by joy cream so i have already installed it so i am going to open it and let's check it where my device is rooted or not so that you will believe it so yeah i'm going to click out on verify root so here you can see sorry root access is not properly installed on your device device is moto g2014 and android version 7.1.1 lineage os rom so what you have to do is just go to lineage os download site and for that just search lineage os and here just click on downloads then swipe from left after that go to extras and here you will see the super su which we have to flash to root our device of several architectures so download as per your architecture whether your device is arm 32 bit or arm 64 bit or x86 so my device is moto d2014 means my device is arm means arm 32 bit so i am going to download the upper one so I have already downloaded it and second one is for removing root so if you will install root and after that if you want to unroot your device then you can also unroot it by mm, flashing second one so here I have downloaded both signed super issue for rooting and, after, and another for unrooting so I will show you how to both do root and unroot so first of all power of your device and uh, let it power off now you have to go in fast boot mode so press volume down button and power button simultaneously for five to seven seconds and yeah here it comes the fast boot mode and just you can go up and down by volume down button and you can select it from volume up button so I am going to press volume down button for entering in recovery I will go to recovery and then power volume up button for selecting it so let's press volume up button and here it comes I have TWRP recovery 3.0.2-4 which is the latest one so you also should have latest TWRP recovery on your device so that you can flash let's say it's just brightness and then you have to install the downloaded super su chip file so let's click on install and select your storage whether you have downloaded in micro sd card or internal storage i have downloaded in my download section of internal storage so i am going to select internal storage and then press ok ok button so then i am going to my downloads 
where I have downloaded and here you can see add-on is you ARM signed zip so I am going to flash it so select it and then swipe to confirm flash so let's swipe it to confirm flash yeah it's done it's script succeeded successfully and let's reboot it yeah here my device is rebooted and here let's check whether my device has, has rooted or not so <coughs> let's check it first of all go to settings yeah click on settings and uh, now go down below to developer options and uh, here go to root taxes because we have to check whether root taxes is available or not or yeah here is available for apps only and for adv adv and apps so allow root taxes for apps only so that we can give root permission to all apps and now go to root checker and open it yeah here you can see verify root status for my device moto g2 and wired version 7.1.1 i have so click on verify root access and allow root permission yeah you can see here congratulations root access is properly installed on this device so on your device you can also do it as i have done so now i am going to show you how to unroot your device since i have already rooted so now if you want to unroot it then i will show you how to unroot it so first of all power up your device and uh, then go to fast boot mode by pressing power button and volume down button for 5 to 7 seconds and yeah here we go here you can see my fast boot mode screen and now we have to go to recovery so press volume down button and then volume up button for going into recovery you may have your own key for entering into recovery so check it out whether you have different then check it now you can see I have TWRP recovery so let it open yeah here you can see the TWRP recovery and click on install and here the zip file I have downloaded to one root just flash it so swipe to confirm flash the second one which I have downloaded was for unroot and the first one i was downloaded for root so now the root system let it open so yeah my device has opened and now let's check whether i have successfully unrooted or not so open root checker and uh, we have to first click on verify root status so click on verify root and yeah here you can see sorry root access is not properly installed on your device it means i have successfully unrooted my device so if you have not subscribed yet to my channel then search taxol on youtube and then after that click red subscribe button so that you will get notification of each one of my videos and you will be updated so if you like my videos then go down below my videos and uh, open it and after that if you like it then please hit like button and also if you want to give any suggestions then comment down below to my videos so thanks for watching goodbye